All right. Um, so I unintentionally made some enemies just now. Maybe not. I, I guess they're still tolerating me because I'm still in the Discord server. I don't know how I feel about that, though. I don't know if I want to stay. Okay. Context. I unintentionally made some enemies today because I'm using Minecraft 1.16 and there's this mod. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be petty now and try to make a 1.16 uh, Minecraft server. <laughs> Basically, a mod dev stopped patching the 116 version of their mod, which which is fine, but because of that, they archived the 116 support channel in their Discord server. So, anyone still using the 116 version of their mod is completely on their own. No support whatsoever. So, I mean, it's one thing to stop patching 116 and just stop with the updates on that version. It's another thing entirely to drop support. It's like... That's just a hard left. It's like... I think it's unfriendly. I, I believe it's unfriendly. And they said it's because uh, they're worried that, you know, things in 116 work different. So they could give some advice on how to fix an issue, and it could be bad advice, and it could, like, break the save file. And I mean, at that point, it's noted, it's avoidable next time, so just... It doesn't matter. The point is, it's unfriendly to completely drop support. I don't think that point can be countered. I don't think that point got countered today. So, anyways, the mod is Mine Colonies. Basically, you can make a city. It spawns NPCs, there's some new block types, um... I think there's some new items. Well, there's a few because um, you get wands, I guess you could call them. Uh, there's the building one, and that's the only one I use. Um, <laughs> so anyways, we're going to be um, running a city and trying to make it work and function. There's going to be some other mods to fill in, uh, because I feel like there's not enough uh, monsters in vanilla Minecraft. And the reason I'm using, the reason I'm so dead set on the 116 version of this mod is because they upgraded it, they brought it to 119, and the way you build buildings in the 119 version. It sucks. I mean, it looks so bad. It's so confusing. Like, what am I doing? I cut off half of a building. That's what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. I'm screwing up. And I blame the layout. I blame how it looks when you're building a building. So, what else do I have besides my colonies? I have bad mobs, which you can use to turn off certain mobs. So, this server, if we get it running, there's not going to be creepers or endermen. Or there's this one mob from another mob that comes... Another mod that comes later. <laughs> okay. We're going to turn that off. And I'll explain why. Creatures and Beasts, which I think is a really fun one. Um, it just adds some more things spawned. Um, extra golems, because we need 
bedrock golems. Okay, the guards in mine colonies are not enough. They die so easy. <laughs> um, Fishes Undead Rising. I really like that one. I really like... Basically, it just adds a bunch of undead mobs. Um, Lycanites. I, Lycanites is it's huge. I mean, it's like... There's so many new mobs that it adds. And one of them is called a crake. And the crake basically looks like the bad guys from uh, Stranger Things. It looks like the monsters from Stranger Things. Um, what they do is they're harmless unless you run in front of them. Then they attack. And colonists are NPCs. So they attack the colonists, and my guards are dying. So that's why guards are not enough, and we need extra golems. And that's why I got bad mobs in the first place, because I'm going to disable crakes. I mean, crakes, creepers, and endermen. Everything else is fine. <laughs> um, mob battle... Because sometimes the golems or the guards, one, don't know that they need to work together. It's like, for some mobs, the guards attack, and for some mobs, the golems attack, and it's not both of them at the same time. So, mob battle is going to fix that. Um... Waystones, because, yes, we need points, like fixated points, to teleport to. And that's what Waystones does. And Zeros Minimap. I thought that was, like, necessary, because when a colonist dies, it tells you the coordinates, and... Pulling up coordinates in Java is just really, it's a mess, because it pulls up all this other stuff that you don't need to look at, and it's very disorienting. So, they made it easy in Bedrock. They made it really easy, and turning it on is, like, a feature in Bedrock. I don't know why it has to be... A completely separate thing you have to hold a key and it brings up all this stuff that you don't need to look at so yeah Zeros minimap is a necessity so <laughs> with that in mind what do you think do you want to join this server I mean, it would have to be a free uh, hosting service, like, 24-7 for the foreseeable future. A free service. So, I'm going to search for one of those. Uh, you can comment one if you have an idea. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be a thing. <laughs> and I, I want to apologize to the people in that Discord server for upsetting them. I'm still holding my opinion, though. 